Hello everyone. Let's do this classic question. Uh, lead code hard forty four wild card matching. Uh, it's a classic question to be solved by two D table. And the basic idea is very straightforward. We iterate all the possible prefix, uh, from the pattern and the string, and mark whether they match. Then we use this two D table to let this information to flow from the top left to the right bottom. Because when you iterate, you go by row, row by row, and uh, uh, left to right, top to bottom. And the only thing you need to be careful is the index in the table corresponds to the length of the string or the pattern. What this means is, um, when you think when you're talking about a current row, for example, as I, then you want to refer to car the current character in the P, for example, could be S. Depends on how you choose the direction. For me, I choose the row to be pattern, so each row corresponds to P. Then. The, if the current row in the table the index is i, then the current character, which should be the last character in this pattern, then it should be i minus one. Sorry, uh, i minus one. Uh, this should be the only thing tricky in this whole question. Um, means this corresponds to p and the dp j corresponds to s j minus one because each index the meaning of index in the dp table is the length of the pattern or the string but the corresponding Index in the pattern of string is literally the index, which is the last one that would be the length minus one. Okay, so that's the only tricky part. So first, we want to initialize this table uh, with some uh, known knowledge, which is empty empty string should always match. Empty string should always match. So um, remember, we want the table to be one character more than the uh, pattern of the string. And I chose uh, the rows to be the pattern rather than the string because for me, it's more intuitive because string is usually longer than the pattern. And when I choose pattern to be the row, I get a wide table rather than a long table. And I think that's prettier. Uh, so I choose this way. And it really doesn't matter which direction you choose, uh, but try to stick to one. So when you get nervous during interview, you won't accidentally mess up your logic. Um, And we always want to um, initialize with them with false and use true to update it. The only prayer knowledge you should know is an empty string always match an empty pattern. And uh, because of that reason, we initialize this to be true. The meaning of this, the first zero is empty pattern. The second zero is empty string. Uh, besides that, another situation is an empty string also should match a uh, pattern that uh, it only, con only consists of stars. So. If uh, the previous 
which means if I'm currently looking at this, the previous one is a star. If the previous one is a star, and we only consider the first column because we only think the situation string is empty, nothing else. Uh, if the previous one is true and the current one is a star, and remember the current dp is dpi, and dpi minus 1 is while well looking at the previous row, and the pi minus 1 is the current character. Then we should update the current cell, which is this. This current cell dpi corresponds to pi minus 1, because here it refers to the length, and here it refers to the index. Otherwise, you don't have to, but this makes it more efficient. You can break um, this initialization. And now we are ready to uh, loop the whole table to let the information populate. And uh, as I mentioned before, there are only three situations. One is the information populated from top left, and the second is populated from top, and the last is populated from the left. If it's populated from top left, then the cell we should look at when the current cell is dpig, then clearly the top left cell is dp i minus 1 and g minus 1. And uh, then in what if we already know the prefix of the current uh, pattern and the other prefix of current string matches, then given what situation we can say one more character from the pattern plus one more uh, character from the string, they can still match. Uh, there are, given the information from the question, there are only uh, three situations, I think. P th again, this refers to the current character. If it matches the string directly, or if it is a question mark, then it should match any character, or it's a star. It in here, the, this star will be used to uh, map to any single character. Then we should let the current cell to be updated to true. And the second situation, if we look at the top, and uh, if you compare to the current cell, which is IG, the top would be one row less, but uh, the column would be same, so it should be this. So similarly, I like to write them parallelly. Uh, it's actually easier to think. Um, then this one would be same row, but one less column. So if this is a situation and uh, so again, to interpret what the meaning of this cell, again, when you already know uh, for the top cell, which means you have one less character in the pattern, but you have the same length of the string because you have the same, you have same G, basically. Uh, then in what situation you can let this true from this top cell to populate into this current cell. You can pause and think, uh, I have already done that and I know the only situation I can think of that a given string maps uh, matches a given pattern and now I have one more character in the pattern then I want this new character in this pattern to be a star because only when star maps an empty string, I can make this true to continue. So the situation here is I is P 
is a current P equals star. And here it this P, this star means it is a empty string, empty character. Then we should populate the current value to be true. Then the next situation, we already know a string maps a uh, pattern. Now we have one more string because it corresponds to our current cell. This cell has one less character, uh, which means our current cell has one more character in the string. And in what situation you can make this true to continue? And again, you can pause and think when a pattern matches a string and now I have one more new character in this string and the only situation you can make it happen is to have this new character in the pattern to be star again but then this time it will be any character or any sequence of uh, in the string rather than empty. So although they look same, but they have different meaning. And a sequence. If that is the situation, you can let this true to continue to populate into this new cell. And the last step is our good old friend minus one minus one. Because that is when we visited all the characters in the pattern and all the characters in the string and you can give the final uh, conclusion. What did I do? Oh. Yeah, that's it. The only thing need to be care is uh, again the the length in the meaning of index in the table refers to the length, but in the pattern or in the string just the, the regular index. So make sure dp i maps i minus one dp j minus j maps j minus one. Okay, thank you for watching.